Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Now, this is going to be a quick video showing you the best dinos to defend Ice Cave with. Let's get into it. Okay, so to start off with Ice Cave, right? The most defendable point is this point right in front of me where the cave lags and there's also going to be about a hundred turrets from all sides. Now, I haven't built this death wall completely yet and uh, there's been a couple of changes that I need to implement like uh, making those big pillars thinner pillars but anyway this is about dinos so this is a single player and you're gonna get attacked and you're probably gonna get pushed back to this point to this point as an attacker they've destroyed some turrets on the ground here they've destroyed some turrets here and there uh, they're throwing grenades now they need to soak now it's really hard to throw out cryopods here or to get an angle because you'll always have dinos and you need a cryo fridge to actually throw them out in Acer. As you can see, there's a cryo fridge here. So about this point here, they'll probably be able to throw cryopods. So they'll be able to walk up dinos from this side. They'll be able to walk up dinos here and they get them to this point. Now they can't get stegos through this because of this massive ice thing here. It's actually not possible. Now I'm trying to get a stego here from this side to the other side and you just can't do it. No matter how many times I've tried in single player, I cannot get a stego through here. But what I can do is I can get a trike through. I can get one of these terror birds through. I can get a carbo through. Okay, so with that in mind, it's going to be a lot of foot PvP. As well as there's going to be carbos, they're going to be whistling carbos through here. It's going to be nuts and it's going to be crazy. So first dino you want is you want a UT. So if they ever get a carbo through or a trike through, this UT, as long as you put it on turret mode and on aggressive, okay, so behavior, disable turret mode, so I've already enabled it. I'll say enable turret mode. And then you put it on aggressive, it will then continuously start roaring at the enemy which will then fear it and the fear actually does dam uh, it doesn't do damage but it uh, reduces the armor or something like that by 30% so it takes sorry it takes 30% more damage per hit or something like that so it does that it fears carbos it fear trikes and then also if it fears it enough the carbo and that will just run either into your death wall or run away. Okay, so that's the first thing you want, a UT. Because they are just very good support dinos in uh, killing their soakers. Okay, second off is a Therry. Now, Therry is a nice added benefit to this cave. Because it's quick, it's easy, it shreds through armor. And you can literally run it straight down the center. And just swipe 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 you see you can swipe run it straight down the center start swiping all the enemies and kill them reasonably quickly okay so that's a nice added one you gotta add into the defense there also the water on uh, Acer like this water here is not ice cold not ice cold and it doesn't do damage all right and one of the most essential tames you're gonna need is you're gonna need a Thylea Colio so the Thylea Colio is one of the best bleeders in the game right now. Well, it is the best bleeder in the game. When they bring out new maps, there'll be better bleeders such as the Dinosuchus, Dinococcus, whatever you call the name of it. Uh, but for now, the Thylo is the best, right? So the reason you want a Thylo, you want preferably a male and a female Thylo. Now these can, uh, what you want to do is you want to level only health in these bad boys. Uh, because melee doesn't matter because they do a bleed right so when they attack yeah they bleed it for five seconds and what that does it adds a little debuff to the creature for five seconds which means it takes five percent of the health of the dino so it actually doesn't matter if this styliocolio has like one damage or five damage because it will do a consistent bleed over five seconds or five percent which makes it one of the most op dinos and powerful dinos to use in defense to kill their soakers All right so this will be number one this is the first thing you should tame when defending this cave okay and then the second thing is a giga now a giga is a big 
their bite is powerful and they can uh, LOS your turrets and allow you to bite and kill a lot of stuff okay they kill players really quickly and easily anything they throw around the corner if your Giga's got imprint and good melee it'll be able to easily kill and shred things and add to the damage if you couple this Giga with the Thylio so you have one guy on the Thylio uh, attacking doing 5% and the Giga attacking there will be nothing they can do to save their dino okay and the Kano is a bleeder as well so if you fail to find the Thylio or you're getting attacked right now and you need defense straight away and you actually have a Kano in base the Kano also does bleed it doesn't do as much bleed I believe it's uh, you see the 5% or 2% uh, either way it's bigger it's bigger it's clunkier it's easier to hit from uh, the enemy's point of view but it's good it stacks with the thylo so if you have enough players you can also stack the bleed with the thylo and uh, Kano so the thylo will do bleed for five seconds and this Kano will do bleed for 10 seconds yeah I think it's 5% uh, over 10 seconds that's what makes this Kano uh, not as good as a thylo okay and then here's a cheeky extra one you can have. Now, because Scorch Earth is out, you can also use these Mantises. Now, the Mantises are quite OP, especially if you couple it with an Ascendant Wooden Club. Now, I've got a primitive one here, but Ascendant is good. So, what they're going to do is they're going to throw, they're going to have uh, their trikes, they're going to have the carbos, and they're going to end up getting them around this corner. And what you do is you run up and you just start clubbing them. Now it will take, depending on the melee of your Mantis, you want to level mostly melee on your Mantis and have an Ascendant Club, you'll be able to knock out their Trikes, their Carbos, their Stegos, anything they can get around here in quite a, in a couple of swipes. Like maybe 5 to 10, which is really quick in defense. Look, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And you can one-shot players with the Mantis okay right click as well does a little bit more damage and more torpor because it does two thuds instead of one okay so that's a special one to add to it you don't necessarily need this one but this also adds a added benefit to the dinos for defense okay and the last but not least uh one really good thing you can use is if you get a ut and you tame a ton of dimorphs and you start breeding those dimorphs like crazy you put them on aggressive ignore group whistle okay you get on the ut or whatever dino you want you can use a carbo if you want you whistle follow from the ut which is t on mine and the dimorph will follow it continuously now you put the dimorphs on aggressive uh what will happen is you'll have like say you'll have like 30 or 40 or 50 surrounding the head of this UT. The UT will do the normal fear roar as usual, but the Dimos will also be aggressive and they'll run and they'll do a lot of DPS, a lot of damage to the turtles or trikes or whatever they bring around this corner. And then they'll also eat the body because a lot of people raid this cave by having a turtle out there. They have the dead body here. And then if they're offline, they're able to tech rifle say the beams or throw grenades and try and get a couple of easy shots in to destroy the turrets now with dimorphs they'll actually eat the body and not allow anyone to cheese behind the dead bodies and so they'll just get lit up and they'll die but dimorphs there's a one downfall is once they're on aggressive and say medium range they'll kill the carbo and then the player here say he's here he sees all the dimorphs coming for him he'll run off this way and then he will go get his own dino and kill the dimorphs. Now you just have to accept the fact that the dimorphs are good in the short term and they're just good for uh, getting a few easy kills to begin with. You're not actually going to rely on dimorphs as a full defense. Now, of course, you could if you have enough dimorphs and you say you have some, uh, say you have a carbo here with loads of dimorphs following, you have a carbo here, loads of dimorphs following. And you've got just so many dimorphs um, 
A good amount of them will die, but they'll also be quite effective at slowing down the enemy from progressing inside your cave. Also, one unique dino that you want to have is a Pelovia. Now this Pelovia actually adds a lot of defense value to your cave and your defenses, uh, which you don't even realize on official. So on official you have to use these uh, cryopods here and you have to have no enemies in range and nothing like that. So if you actually use Pelovias and, and put them in the ground on passive, say here, you put them around your cave here, here, they actually won't be able to throw out any dinos because it will always say an enemy dino in range. The counter to that is they use a parasaur uh, to detect the Pelovias and then they tech punch or they use a wyvern's wings to um, get it up or a torch, right? But if they don't have a parasaur and are kind of slow as attackers, then uh, Pelovias are your best bet. Also, what you want to do is you want to have a Pelovia right around the corner here, especially for Ice Cave. You want to have one up the top there. So up the top there, you see it? Up the top there, that's the closest you can get to the side of this wall. Then you want a Pelovia, then you want a Pelovia, say, about right here, as close to this wall as possible. And then one right here, as close to this wall as possible. You can also add, uh, as you can see, I've got a little tech force field there. So, those are the dinos that you mainly want. You mainly want a UT, a Giga, and Thylos. Those are the three dinos you majorly need. Theries are added and nice to have for defense. Mantis are nice as well for clubbing out uh, people. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked my content and if it helped you defend your cave and think about what dinos you need for defending your ice cave, then please put a comment down below. Please like the video and please subscribe. So thank you guys for watching. Peace out.